Anthony, do you like do you like my new shirt? Sure, man. It's cool. It could have been better. What was that? I said it could have been better. You want to fight about it? Yeah, I do. Let's go, chump. <laughs> Hold on a second. We don't need to fight. We don't? All you need to do is go to 86.com and choose from one of their many designs. Franchises range from Skullgirls to Street Fighter and even Blaze Blue. And if you check out 86 through this Twitch channel, use 86.com slash question mark AFF equals four to let them know that Mission Star Podcast sent you. Pretty bad. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, while you were dealing with that, Anthony, would you like to hear about my fucking adventure with Comcast? Oh, hmm. by by all means. Okay. So, uh, Thursday, I'm watching Stranger Things. Right, new season just came out. Very excited about it. And uh, I'm in like episode five, the middle of it. And there's like a pivotal scene. And uh, super important to the plot, internet, cable, everything just shuts off. Oh, damn. Shit. And this was, this was like 5.30, and I'm like, what the fuck? And like, the, like I, I look up from my phone, because I was sitting downstairs since it was fucking hot that day. Mm-hmm. And um, I see the TV is like some weird mosaic, mosaic looking thing. Oh. And my dad's on his phone, and I was like, the fuck? And he, my dad goes, uh, oh, it's been like that for a while. And I was like, what the hell's going on? So I, I pull up my phone, I pull up the app to Comcast, and I notice that it's basically saying that every, everything in our house is disconnected. And I'm just like, why the fuck is it disconnected? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah. So I start looking at, like, uh, cables and stuff, and everything's hooked up at proper and we'll, Okay, this is really confusing. Maybe there's an outage, and the app isn't telling me yet. So I go to the website, still no outage. I was like, all right, maybe if I go to isitdown.com, and it was saying problems of Comcast. I was like, okay, that's probably it then, right? Mm-hmm. Then I noticed about five minutes later, that same website says no problems. And uh, um, I was like, okay, this is this is not good. I need to com- I need to call them, contact them. So I contact. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, I contact. Uh, um, I try to contact them via Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and it's just a robot. No human. Mm. I keep trying to say, like, I want to talk to Agent. Nothing. I'm just like, okay, this isn't going to work. So then I call mm-hmm. a number, and I'm, I'm waiting for the option to be like, you know, press 1 to this, press 2 to that, press 3 to this, press 4 to talk to an Agent. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for that. It never comes up. I'm just like, the fuck? Little did I know that apparently you can just say Agent over and over and over, and it'll eventually get you to an Agent, but didn't yeah. know that at the time. Yeah, that, that so, works about, like any company that you call, or you well, just smash on a zero. <laughs> yeah, it, like none of those little tricks were working as far as I mm. could tell. But then again, I wasn't really trying them. I was just trying to wait for the option. But anyway, um, so I was like, "There's got to be a different way that I can get a hold of them." This is really frustrating. And I noticed that on Twitter, uh, they have a thing called at, it's at Comcast Cares. And I was like. Huh. Like, that's interesting. They haven't said anything, though. So I'm thinking that nothing is wrong, but something is wrong, but I don't know what. Like, nothing is wrong with the service, per se, but something is wrong in general, and I don't know what. Yeah. So I I, uh, I noticed that, that the Com- that Comcast Cares page responds to people in, in, in a few minutes after somebody bitches online, like an automated response sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I, but but maybe it's a human doing it because every single response, automated response, was different. Like, it kind of had a different wording. And it didn't seem like a robot. It still could have been, but it didn't seem like one. So I was like, I'm going to give this a shot. Well, that was what I needed to do. 
because I meet like I, I I just went on Twitter and I bitched about it, made sure to tag them in it, and I get a message back from them shortly saying like, uh, go ahead and D, uh, DM us your your uh, the account on your name and your address or something like that. And I was all right, so I DM that all that information, and this person was talking to me and and asking me all these questions and stuff and and. Long story short, with that conversation, they were basically trying to explain to me that sometimes if there if there's an outage in your area, um, it won't show up on the app or the website after a while, right? Oh, <laughs> okay. So I was like, okay, okay, that's interesting. Like, I wonder why that is. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I. Uh, so I just kind of ignored it and I just let it go and I was like, all right, wait, maybe maybe that's the case, right? Yeah. And uh, the guy was like, the guy, the guy explained like, there's apparently 37 other people in my area that were complaining about similar stuff. So I was like, all right, maybe there is something wrong and I gotta wait. Like that's what he was telling me. That's what he was explaining to me. And that to an extent made sense. Like there is an outage, but it's like, but the thing that was throwing me off was that the neighbors behind me had internet, no problem. I was like, why the fuck are we affected? Well, I was like, all right. He says, give it overnight. It might come back overnight. Just, you know, unfortunately, that's the case. And and however long you end up not having internet, we will credit your account. I was like, okay, cool. So I wake up the next morning, no internet, no TV. Everything's the same. And so I, I contact them again. And I go, nothing's fixed. Nothing is fixed. And the person has a conversation with me asking me all kinds of shit, all this troubleshooting stuff that maybe I have or haven't done. And I had to explain to them, I said, I've already done all this. I did it with your guy last night. And it's a little frustrating that you're having me do it again, even though there's a record of this conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which they, they never fucking decided to pull up. <laughs> and yeah. well, it's in the same fucking DM thread. Oh. Yeah, wow. like that's I have the entire conversation with four different people I spoke to. Anyway, yeah. it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. So, <sighs> so I, uh, uh, I explained to the guy like I'm not trying to be an angry customer. I'm really trying to hold my patience here, but it's really frustrating that I have been without internet for about ten hours now. Hmm. And he goes. No, it was maybe more than 10 hours. It's probably at this point, like 13, now that I think about it. Because I because it cut off at 5.30 at night on 4th of July, and I woke up at 7 a.m. on... So, about maybe 14 hours. Anyway, regardless, I'm just trying to figure out the math on that. Anyway, and uh, so I, I responded back with, like, Sorry if that sounded rude. I'm just really fucking frustrated right now. And the guy was like, "I totally understand. We're gonna do. We're gonna get this fixed for you." You, uh, um, he goes, "If you if you've done all the troubleshooting, you clearly know what you're talking about. Let's go ahead and schedule a uh, a, a person to come out. <laughs> when's when's the next available opportunity?" And I said, uh, "I said like literally like I I can adjust my schedule so." Whenever the fuck you want. Like, whenever your next available person is. Hoping that day, you know. <laughs> and, uh, uh... What are you laughing about? And what insult in our yeah. chat. <laughs> oh. Um. And they were like, uh, Saturday at noon. I was like, yeah, okay. Like, if that's your nearest and closest one, then let's do that one. So they schedule it. And, uh, the person was like, I'm really sorry about all this. We will, we will get this fixed for you. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Well, I'm going to be in contact with you. Okay, cool. So I get like 18 different notifications throughout the next, you know, however long it was before the person shows up. Uh, like a full day and a half. <laughs> and uh, I'm just like, okay, yeah, I got it. That's, that's scheduled for 12, 12, between 12 and 2. He'll be here between 12 and 2. I got it, Comcast. You don't have to tell me 18 different ways. Like it was like three text messages, two emails. Uh, four different messages via the app. I was like, calm down. <laughs> um, but at one point, I went outside to look at like the line and whatnot, and I noticed that there was a coax cable from the line that goes like off the ground and across the building mm -hmm. that was disconnected. 
But I was like, uh, is that to our house? Does that have to do with anything? It might just be a disconnected line overall. Like, I don't know. I don't fucking know. But it's, it was suspicious to me. So at noon, the guy shows up. And he, he, you know, comes to the door. He's asking couple questions. And I said, yeah, I've looked over there in that in that spot, like, behind our TV. Like, everything's hooked up. Everything's working fine. And he looks at the box. He looks at all the cords. He's like, yeah, your stuff should be absolutely working. Uh, let me go check outside and see what's going on. I'll get back to you. He comes back, like, 10 minutes later. And he says, so the tap out there says it's, it's, it's getting connection and there's no outage. So now I need to figure out why you're not getting internet. I'm going to look at the cords and whatnot and see what's going on. So as I'm sitting on the couch and I just keep, you know, looking out the window, I notice that he's touching that cable. So I go outside immediately and I was just like, may I ask why you're touching that cable? And he goes, this is the cable to your, to your service. And I go, that's what I fucking thought. And he goes, what do you mean? I go that I don't remember that cord before. And I saw it dangling there last night. He goes, yeah, whoever came out here or, or whoever tried to adjust things, like, they completely disconnected you. Mm-hmm. So I remember vaguely that the boys, my neighbors behind us, had said that a guy had come out for them. So I grabbed one of them, and because, uh, like, he had to turn off the internet for, like, a minute to the entire, like, from the tap, which pissed them off. And so mm-hmm. I grabbed them, and I go, what time was your guy here till? And they're like, oh, 3 o'clock to about 5 <laughs> Hmm. Wow. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So he disconnected us. Like he, he, he's the one who did it, and we were trying to figure out why he did it. And the only thing that we, could, the only thing that the the Comcast guy, and it did this does actually fucking track and make sense is that, um, my neighbors were having internet issues. He looked at the line, saw a splitter, and uh... then connected them directly. Okay, and he's a he's a contract worker. He doesn't actually work directly for Comcast. For Comcast, damn. And and my dad goes, so you ha- you guys have people that are contracted? And he was like, yes, because we have so many customers that and not enough people in the area that work directly for Comcast that unless it's a major issue, we just send out people who who are qualified. <laughs> and I went, no, oh, it's pretty crystal clear to me that guy's not fucking qualified. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. And uh, he laughs. Yeah. He goes, "This is actually not that uncommon of a thing." And I was like, "So wouldn't it be wouldn't it behoove Comcast to not hire contractors and just hire more people that are professionally trained by either a Comcast or going to a school?" And he goes, "Yes, but this is not you know this is." Not, I was like, "No, I'm not saying you should do that because that's not up to you, but it's a thing." Yeah. So he goes. He goes. So what I'm going to do out there is I'm going to connect via. I'm going to. I'm going to put a brand new splitter out there, uh, so there should be no interference, and we should be good to go. So he goes and does that, and then he walks around the corner and he's looking at the box, and he goes back and he goes. So here's the weird thing. You guys pay for boosted internet, right? And I said, yeah. And he goes, okay. You guys should have a direct line to the tap. Mm-hmm. He goes, you should be. You should have a you. He goes, do you ever, like, use the internet and you know that you should have 250 megabytes uh, download, but you only get, like, maybe 150, maybe 100? And I was like, yeah, that happens all the time. And he goes, yeah, that's because you're sharing a line with your neighbors who don't have boosted internet. Oh, oh shit. They've and I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. They've been biting off your signal for a while. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So he goes, so what I'm going to do is I'm scheduling a work order. To have guys come out and dig up the line and then fix everything. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. And he comes in and he tries to make a joke. He was like, so the thing is, it's going to cost you guys $100,000. <laughs> and I knew immediately he was joking because he used that ginormous of a number. <laughs> yeah. But he still went. And I did. I was so irritated that I just didn't laugh. <laughs> I didn't have any <laughs> sense of humor. He just and like, I just, um, but I still knew he was joking. <laughs> like, in my, I was yeah. just like... I just sat there stoic, and he, he says, and I was like, he was like, I'm just kidding. I was like, no, I know you're kidding. I mean, there's no way that we'd ever pay $100,000 or we're going to a different service. But mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I said, sorry if I seem irritated. Uh, you know, I've been without internet for two days now, and it's killing me inside. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, goes, he goes, do you everything on the internet? And I was like, yes. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I have a laptop, an Xbox, and a Switch upstairs. I do everything on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, our generation is is like that. Yeah, now I had uh, I had a similar thing a few years ago uh, over at my house. Like my my signal would drop like randomly, and 
Got fucking tired of it. Had somebody come out and some one person came out and it was like, oh yeah, like I have like no idea why this is like happening or whatever like that. Um, and then kept on happening. Had to call them again. Somebody else came out. And this dude, thank God, this guy <laughs> knew what the fuck he was doing. It turned out there was there was two power lines between my house. One over here on this side, one over here on the other side. The one over here on this side that we're hooked, hooked up to, we're the only house hooked up to it. That one had been fucking eaten up and corroded by fucking rats over the years. God damn. So like so 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 the guy was like was like, I don't know why your line is over here. This shit is fucked up. Like, I don't know anybody in the right mind would hook you guys up on this line. It, it's obviously fucked up. I'm gonna move you guys over here to the other side. So after that. After he 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 was just like okay like this, these guys fucked up I'm gonna set you guys up he 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 got us going going good and we were fine for a while <laughs> <laughs> for a while and then uh, we ended up having the same problem after a while and it turned out that um, like uh, for houses that have that that are older sometimes they need a uh, a uh, power amp so. This last guy that came over here like a few years ago, he was like, all right, yeah, you guys are going to need a power amp. I'll set, set you guys up with a power amp. Like, here, plug it into your wall and you're good to go. And like, that was it. And I haven't had issues since. Wow. Yeah. But it's just, if, if it would have just been one fucking person that, that knew what the fuck that they were doing from the beginning. Of- yeah, it's, well, the, the funny thing is, is that right after he, he connects us back to the tap, as he called it, which I love that he's calling the fucking <laughs> the box outside the tap. Yeah. Um, he, uh, he, he goes, he goes, yeah, everything should be working. We tested it. I tested it on my phone. We, the TV was working. The upstairs TV was working. Everything seemed to be great. He proceeds to leave. And I, you know, I was just like, thank you so much. Really appreciate your help. I'm glad we're getting our own line, yada, yada, yada. I go upstairs, I open up the laptop, turn on the Xbox, no internet on both. <laughs> so I was like, what the fuck? So I look at my phone, I look at the app, and sure enough, the TVs are connected, but the la- but the internet isn't again. And I was like, why? what the fuck is going on? Yeah. So I go outside, and, and I see he's still standing by the tap on the phone. And he kind of looks up at me, and I was like, I don't have any internet. <laughs> and he goes, that's weird. All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, let me finish this call and I'll be right with you. Like, okay, cool. So he comes, he comes back to the door about five minutes later and he says, so no internet? And I was like, no. I, he goes, hang on. Let me go Let me go check the, the tap real quick. So he goes outside and he uses this like box to test the connection, that kind of stuff. And he goes, it says you guys should have internet. This is very confusing. And so he connects it directly from to our line. He goes, now I'm seeing a shit ton of noise. I was like, mm. really? And he goes, yeah, I'm seeing a ton of noise. Hang on, I'll be right back. So he goes back outside and checks the tap. He comes back in. He goes, "I made a small mistake." <laughs> I was what? like, "What's that?" And he goes, "I was I was testing your neighbor's tap, or your neighbor's <laughs> line from the tap, and not you." Uh, but now that I've tested your tap, I'm seeing I'm seeing static. Uh, and he goes, "The only thing I can think it is is the is the is the coax cable." He goes, "So he, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you guys a new cord outside briefly, like like it'll be." Uh, um, no, he didn't give us a new cord outside because outside was still pretty fresh. But he gave us uh, a bunch of new cords inside the house. Like we had to move shit around and kind of uh, set up co- uh, set up like a bunch of fucking new coax cables around the house. But the great thing is, is we had a bunch of old cables and cords like taped to the carpet, and we were able to just pull those out and throw them away. So that was nice. But nice. Uh, right after he did that, there was absolutely no problems. No problems mm-hmm. at all. And uh, so he, you know, he, but he was adamant that we we're gonna have a work order guy come out. So uh, Monday, um, everything's working. Sunday, it's great. I'm, I'm happy. Monday, though, I get a, a message from the person via the uh, uh, Twitter account, and they're asking me how everything went. And I'm just like, hey, give this guy fucking five stars. The dude stayed like for four hours making sure our shit worked and it was awesome like he did a great job um and uh, they were like that's awesome w- w- what was the issue and so i explained it and they were just like the person on the other end just goes yeah we shouldn't be using contractors i was like you fucking think <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh 
uh, they said, yeah, we'll send you a survey so you can give the guy higher remarks. I was like, I, I appreciate that. I'd actually like to fill that one out for him. And that was like a five question year thing. But I was like, the dude deserves it. The dude went above yeah. and beyond for oh, it. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And like, uh, uh, a, a, a buddy of mine, he's he's going through something similar where his Internet keeps on like dropping out. And then I had asked him, I was like, well, what are you using? He's like, Comcast. And I was like, fucking call them. Call them as soon as you possibly can. Get somebody out there and make sure that they're doing a good job. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, like, you, you, you hear these kind of stories all the fucking time. Yep. Absolutely. With Comcast. Absolutely. Yeah, make sure they get an actual person out and not a fucking Yeah, contractor. yeah, not a fucking yeah. contractor. I don't, I, I actually, I wonder if that's an option. If you can call them and be like, Hey, don't send a private contractor. I want I want one of your guys. Like, even if I have to wait, however long, let me get one of your guys out here. They might. They might. I don't know. I would. I would hope that that that's an option. Because I mean, you can always threat to to cancel your service if they don't that's too. And true. trust me, they will fucking jump hurdles to make sure you don't put the service. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Very yeah. true. Um. Um. But the 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 finishing part of it was that. The, the person on the Twitter thing said that I would get a notification as soon as that work order went through, letting me know what when those people were going to come and start routing up our stuff. Yeah. And so right after I finished the podcast with uh, Josh, um, I played I played like two hours of Destiny with a buddy, and then I go get lunch, and I'm sitting down, and I'm like two bites in, and my dad goes, is Comcast supposed to be here? And I was like, no. And he goes, well, they're here. I'm just like, what the fuck? So I run downstairs and I see a guy like kind of touching our cables and stuff. And I was just like, Hey, I just want to know what's going on, man. He's like, well, we're here for you guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to, you know, further that he goes, well, we're here for you. We're, we're the guys that are going to reroute or we're routing where the, uh, the cord's going to go. We're going to dig up everything. So that way we can get that cord in there for you because we know that you need a direct <laughs> line to the tap. And I was like, because you matter. Like, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Um, but I was just like, all right, man, is the line going to go down today? And he was like, it might for like a second, but it sh you should be fine for the rest of the day. And I misheard that. <laughs> I thought it was just fine for the rest of the day and it shouldn't go down at all. And I come upstairs and like five minutes later, the internet goes down. I was like, are mm -hmm. you absolutely fucking kidding me? <laughs> wow. Wow. But but he he did he did clear he did tell my dad. He was like, yeah, I told I told whoever else that was that, you know, it was going to go down for a second. And I was like. I just am so fed up with the shit. I just didn't, I guess I didn't hear it, but wow. I, yeah. for a minute, for a legit minute, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do the podcast. Today, you guys. Wow. That was all today. No, 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 no. So it went down on the 4th of July, uh, had no internet all of Friday, dealt with all that shit. Saturday was internet. Like I had internet, um, every day up until, today and then today was when they like came and re and routed where the cord was going to go ah. and apparently apparently the tree outside the fucking root is touching the cord or pushing the cord which is causing disconnections mm. um, so whatever happens from here on out it sh we should have faster internet we should uh not have any interruptions after everything's said and done nice have you, but, ran, have you ran like a speed test to see if you if there's any difference or have you noticed a difference no, no, my internet's back to the way that it was before all of this shit happened. Like, it's at, mm -hmm. you know, like, I think it maxes at, like, 120, or not 120, but uh, 160. Mm -hmm. I should be getting 250. Like, I should be getting 250 down. Oh, and, yeah. and stadia numbers, man. Google stadia numbers. You're going to be streaming. You're going to be streaming. At, 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 <laughs> so, it's not, fucking, it's, fucking it's not that I'm worried dude. about, it's not that I'm worried about being able to play stadia. My issue is, is again, I have a data cap of a thousand gigabytes. So. Yeah, that's that's the issue of Comcast. I'm and I looked it up, and it would cost me an extra fifty dollars a month to have unlimited. Yep, yeah, that, that that blood oh, money, that. that blood money from Comcast. I'm yeah. fortunate at the moment because since I moved down here, the internet that that's widely used over here, at least in Long Beach, is Spectrum, and they have they have unlimited internet. Um, whatever the, the the plan is the general plan it comes to unlimited internet um they could cap it they have not done that yet so it's been well, pretty good it's been pretty good pretty good. That yeah. Is pretty good yeah yeah I'm, I'm crossing my fingers on that one because i know i used to have comcast back on the norcal because that was like the only thing up there so yeah yeah, yeah um when, when we were going through all that shit with comcast and the internet kept on dropping like i was 
I was actively looking for another option for internet. I was yeah. like, okay, like, like what about AT and T? Like, no. I was like, oh, like, like, no, like AT and T is only DSL in your fucking area. I'm like, what the fuck DSL? Like, are you serious? Like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no, I'll just have to just fucking take it up the ass <laughs> with Comcast for the most Ascent, part. Yeah, we tried uh, back when I was living up there. My par- my parents switched to AT and T for a brief second. Um, was slower, was not great, uh, and I just told him like, look, we need to go back to Comcast. Like, it's this this service is not great. It's slow, and I'm sorry to say, but Comcast is the only big name in town. We have to, we have to do it. So, um, I, I, oh, go ahead. What I was gonna say, what's really funny is, uh, I get the email I got from uh, Comcast about the whole situation was totally automated because it was like, you've been a fuck, you've been a customer since 2003. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. I'm just like, is it though? Is it is it impressive to be a customer? Yeah, like, is it impressive? That I have to have. For yeah, yeah, because yeah, because it's like because you guys are forcing me to be. You guys are the only fucking option for yeah for good internet in our area. It's like, like so fun. It's, like, it's like being proud of being a prisoner at a, in a jail cell. 